and says we are live hello people that are joining us i see we have some people popping in we have laura and marie and good morning shell good morning good morning this Did is you know a live show this is a live show that we do each thursday on art dry sharing if you happen to be catching this later uh, so we will be talking to the audience if you're wondering uh what's going on with those people in the box <laughs> that's what we're doing is we're chatting with the folks that are in here with us live uh so you can uh watch this video later we appreciate you joining us at any time and uh that's my little commercial there we go <laughs> you forgot the part about don't forget to give us a thumbs up Leave well, a you comment or question that. below. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on those notification bells. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. So today we're going to work in our butterfly journals. I've decided that um, mine's way too small. It's going to be like, it's going to take me like three seconds because look at all the stuff that my friends have sent me. Um, some of it's mine. These are my napkins, but... I got an envelope from Peg full of die cut butterflies, stamped butterflies, butterflies stamped on tissue paper and actual tissue paper and all kinds of great stuff to use. And then I got not one, but two envelopes from Rennie that were sent on the same day. And they also have tons of butterfly stuff. Um, pretty papers and butterflies stamped on tissue paper and um, all kinds of great stuff inside. So is it, I, you know, I thought, I thought at, my, at one point that I had a lot of butterfly stuff, but now I have so much more butterfly stuff. Well, how cool is that? So that's, that's nice to have things. And then I, I stamped some of my own stamps on tissue paper, and that's what I've been playing with this morning uh, so far. Oops. So I just made myself a little box of all butterfly stuff, and I'm just going to keep all my butterfly stuff plus uh, my butterfly journal in this box until it is complete. But I now wish that I'd made a much larger one. But yeah, I'm going to make you know, another one. I could. I could always make another one because I have just I've determined that um, making journals is a different um, craft than actually finishing them. Yeah. Hi, people. We got Barbara and Cindy and Becky. Hello. I don't know if I said good morning to the others. I'm sorry, Marie. <laughs> Laura, Laura Marie, Barbara, yeah. Cindy, yeah. Becky, hello, hello. So what I'm starting out with, do you remember I was making those pages for my butterfly book, which is, where's my book? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's my book, all right? You saw me start this the other week, and so I've got pages in here to work on, but um because it's one of these with the stretchy cord, I can take these pages out to work on them. Um, and I have some stencils that I'm starting off with this morning. And I'm putting down some uh, modeling paste. This is opaque matte modeling paste from Art Basics. And I have these uh, stencils from Stencil Girl, of course. Um, and I am taking some of those pages and I'm just adding some of that modeling paste. There's Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Um, and, and getting some of that down on these uh, pages that we had done with the sprays and things. So, you know, and I remember I did both sides of these. So when I put these in the book, they're going to have colorful fronts and backs. But now this stuff needs to dry. So I'm going to move along to another page and work on another page and some more components and things. Um, I'm going to throw these stencils in the water because I just kind of wiped them off. They're not perfectly clean. And I'm going to set these aside, try not to put my finger in them. If you guys did not see yesterday's post, um, Shell and I had done. 
uh, collaboration for Earth Day. She did this wonderful page. Um, I, I encourage you guys to go out and watch her video because, um, you know, we all need to think about Mother Earth and preserving things uh, for the future. One of the things I heard this week that I thought was amazing was just how clean the air is over LA right now since we're all cloistered. <laughs> that's right. I mean, and that should tell us something. That should tell us something about the whole situation that we're in. Yeah, yeah. You know, if we didn't believe in the power of the earth before and the fact that it could just beat us up at any time, yeah. then you should believe it now. Yeah, for sure. Because I, I mean, you know, there's all kinds of theories as to what's happened with this virus. I'll tell you what, it's Mother Nature that's happened. <laughs> Mother Nature can be mean. She's had enough of our bull, loney. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab another one of these pages, you know, because I got all these, I've got all these pages now to work on. Looking at the colors to see which what I want to work with today. I, you know, oh, I like that. Mm, I like that one too. All right. Well, I think I'm just going to go with the first one I pulled out because I may do more than one today. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you guys, I, you know, talking about preserving things and not putting things in the landfill. You know how we all, I was talking to Shell this morning. We all get these uh, napkins. We go to the restaurant, we go through the drive-thru, and they give us these little one-ply napkins, right? And I checked it, you know, to make sure that it was one-ply. You can see I, I'm tearing it to make sure that there's nothing to divide out. But, you know, they always give us more than we need. <laughs> uh, my glove box is full of those things, man. Right. And I, I keep them in the glove box, too, because you never know when you're going to have something to clean up. But when you have an overflow in the glove box, these are great because look at my new tissue paper that I created using this uh, napkin from the drive-thru. I mean, that's pretty cool. Now I've got more tissue to play with. So, you know, great way to recycle, reuse, take care of our earth is to use that stuff. So, let's go back to this. <clears throat> so, we um, last week I was showing you guys I had some tissue paper. I think it was last week. I don't know when it was. That I had recycled from a uh, packaging situation. And um, it was wadded up and I just misted it with my new mister. I don't know if I showed you guys this. This is the craziest spray thing ever. I apparently um, heat tooled it a little bit, but uh, <laughs> I, I mean, he's got a mark right there. I guess I must have hit it with the heat tool. Yeah. Um, you can't see it, but when you spray it, it just continues to spray and it's really fine mist. It's some type of thing for, um, they were marketing it for hair products. Yeah. Uh, I love, anyway, I love I miss, the fine I miss mist sprays. This reusable, this this tissue paper, and I'm reusing it. But I went I went through my stamps, and I stamped some different ones because I figured it would be easier to have tissue paper with stamped images in my box here in my little box of butterflies than it would be to have the actual stamps. So I did. I am playing with my Arteza acrylic markers that I got from Arteza in. This weekend, there'll be a video about them on my channel that's got something I think is really neat that I made <laughs> with them. But what I like to do with acrylic markers, because they are just acrylic ink and they are water-soluble water until they're dry, but then once they're dry, they're permanent, right? Right. I like to use them with a water brush. So I just put them on there and then I blend them with the water brush. Yep. Happens to also be from Arteza. So that's what I was doing this morning with these, with this tissue paper with butterflies, is filling them in with rainbows because I thought today would be a good rainbow day. It is a good rainbow. And the set I have has got 20 colors. They do have a 40 set, but it was out of um, out of stock. 
because I really wanted this set of 40. <laughs> yeah. Because you, you have the 20. Have one, you should have 40, right? <laughs> I have the 20. It's fine, you know? Yeah. I think I'm going to stamp up this. I think this is might be a Dina Wakely set. I don't know. Something I probably got out of the discount aisle. But um, I thought I would stamp a few of these on some tissue because I may end up using this butterfly on this page. So, yeah, I just got some tissue and stamped a few of those. And I've got that other one. And, yeah, I've got all kinds of butterfly stuff right here behind me. Waiting in the wings for usage. Oh, and I was going to. I'm going to actually stamp some of these things, too. Um, I wonder what this would look like on there. Let's try it. It's pretty solid, so it may not. This is my very most favorite butterfly stamp from Penny Black. I've used this over and over again. Yeah, see? Isn't that cool? That's a cool stamp. But the cool thing, the coolest thing, let me clean this off a little bit, um, is that when you're working with these solid ones, you can work with color. So let me get some, let me get some color. I've got, Do those markers. Marker, 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 marker. Oh, that's right. These are done with sprays. I'm like, <laughs> this is how bad I am. I'm like looking at this going, how do I make these? Are these water soluble? I can't remember. Why are they so muted? Oh, yeah, that was spray day. I remember now. Well, I'm not finding the marker, so I guess I'll just use some ink pads. What the heck? And what color do I want to do? I've got the the, gr the green and yellow on the background. Let's do some pink purple stuff. I know Shell will like that. Pink purple stuff. Let's get some so much down there. fresh ink. It's kind of calm. Or it could be on something brighter like this. I think I'll put it on that. Let's start with this uh, worn lipstick. And a little abandoned coral. The other thing that you can do is you can put this down on a mat and pick it up. I'm just living on the wild side here. See what I can get in a little picked raspberry. Okay. So then I need my very fine mist spray, wherever it is. Here we go. I got a mister. I'm just going to mist if I can find it and point it in the right direction instead of in my face. That's the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to stamp that down on my paper and see what I can get. Okay, so you see. I've got that nice little watercolory background of a butterfly there. Let me try that one more time. I've got enough on there to do a couple of them. Okay. I want to dry that. And let me do that for you on some of this other paper, too. Um, I should probably have a craft mat if I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to take some of that. I want that picked raspberry. I actually want a little yellow in there too. Let me grab a let me grab a yellow. I'm gonna put the yellow down here on my mat. And a little abandoned coral. I've got the, the picked raspberry on my stamp. I'm going to get my mister wherever I threw that. Yeah, I'm throwing things already. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to mist my stamp. 
and the stuff on the table. Lightly touch. I think you got uh, out too much stuff. That's what happened. Yeah, I know. I always do that. That's <laughs> a little bit on the wet side. Okay. So I'm going to stamp off. That's not too bad. There. You guys see that? Isn't that just wonderful butterfly? Very watercolor butterfly. As long as I got it out. Might as well do a few more before it gets totally muddy. All right. So what I like to do with that, once it dries down a little bit, is I will take a fine pen, wherever that is. This is a multi-liner. dry. I like to take a multi-liner and just do a scribble drawing on here. Because when I cut that out to use, I'll have a little bit of reference. So, now I can cut those out and add them to my stash. And I'm not going to be real precise. They will be cool. Little butterflies. I've been out in the yard this week. Have you guys been able to get outside at all? It's been so beautiful here. I went out and cut brush and, you know, put stuff in the yardy and cleaned things up a bit. It's been pretty nice. I've been outside every single day. We go out, we take Papa out, and we go out to the, the backyard, um, have a little table set up with some chairs out there. And we go and sit outside. Last night, uh, ate out there. Great. Yeah, I have a, we can't. Ron and I are so unstable, we can't really use a wheelbarrow anymore. So I got one of those little fold-up um, wagons <laughs> that's got, you know, the table that flips up on it so he can have his bottle of water and all of that. And I got his little director chair and take it out there so that he can um, sit in the director chair and cut Direct. twigs and stuff and put them in a box so that I can dump them in the yardy and uh, gets him out of the house, you know. And so he was he was having a blast. It was like 75 here yesterday, which is unprecedented. And we were just enjoying it. Uh, 
Okay, so there's a couple of those. <laughs> Cindy Bagley said it's still snowing where she lives. Well, we had snow last week. That's the thing. It goes from snow to 75. Go figure. That is very strange. Yeah. Yesterday, after I came in, we had heavy rain downpour. I guess there were tornadoes in Oklahoma yesterday. So there's some major weather moving through. Yep. Mother Nature, I'm telling you. Yeah. I am digging this butterfly. Okay, so I got those. And they're just going to go in my stash. I don't know. You know, I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet today. But I pulled out a bunch of stuff. I've got quotes and butterflies and all kinds of stamps and things. These are going to go get added to that. And, you know, I've still got these pieces that can be used. So that goes in my stash here. Now, and that tissue paper, and that, I mean, these are all, you know, I pull things, and I was showing you how to do these, so let's go back to my page. And I think I want to, see it's got these circular things on here, I think I want to do something circular. Freezing, oh dear. I know it, what what the heck? Hey, Carla, hi. We've got people still joining us. Hi, Terry. Uh, Skamir. No, Skamir. I'm butchering this name. Skaminir. Butchering it. Sorry. Cindy Bagley, hello, hello, Leslie, hi, hello, people, so glad you could join us today. All right, so here's the page. I like that it's got white space, okay? Not everybody feels good about white space, but I like it on some pages. So I I'm like white space, but I can't seem to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I wished I had more white space. So I'm going to I'm going to keep that white space. I might even add some more white space. I don't know. But uh let me grab what I got here. I've got some tools. Got some tools. What do I want to use? Oh, that's interesting. Maybe that's bigger. No, it's about the same size as that circle. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go grab that pen I was using. She says her name is Sandy. So you What's don't that? Have to pronounce that. Her name is Sandy. Sandy. All right. Hello, Sandy. <laughs> First time here, she says. Much easier to pronounce. I think I want a gel plate. Hey, why not? So I stenciled some lines onto mine. First, I stamped with a permanent ink. Some just some little. Uh, it's called French script, but it's just more like random writing. You just wanted a little extra texture. And then I stenciled with some gray paint and a stencil girl stencil from Club this month. And then I put a black um, Stabilo All Pencil on there. I'm just making some like reed looking things. 
And I think I'm going to take the white Posca pen. And I'm going to go along the other side. Just to get some more fun pattern in the background here. Just because it looks, looks fun. I don't know. My rainbow butterflies are going to be in the weeds, apparently. I just felt like making vertical lines today, apparently. Who knew? Start with... What did I do with my brayer? Mmm. Probably there somewhere. Yeah. Buried under something else, probably. <laughs> Let me just get to scoot my chair over because I think I'm sitting too far. And I keep getting off screen. Bye, Laura. Leaving already? Stay with the granddaughters. Oh, gets to go play with, with cute babies. That's good. Well, she's uh, zooming with them. Oh. She's playing it safe. She's being a she's being a good grandma. She's playing it safe. Okay, so I think I want to add some color to this. So I've got this deco art media. I should shake it up. I just want to add a little bit of color in there. And stamp that down. So now that my uh, rainbow butterflies that I colored on the tissue paper are dry, since it was acrylic, markers that I colored it with it's permanent so I can just go ahead and you know put these down without any worries about anything running or smearing or being a jerk but the way I'm cutting them out is to use some water and then tearing it because it gives a really fluffy edge that kind of blends in when you stick it down so Gotta love that. I want to try to make it invisible. Is that a word? It is if you're Tigger. Okay. <laughs> so I'm using this uh, Bombay Cherry Red India Ink. Because I think it's kind of cool. Is that the one that you were so excited about earlier? Well, I thought it was cool. <laughs> yeah. I did. I thought it was cool. And you said you had to use it today. I'm I'm getting it out here. It's coming out. <laughs> well, I got, you know, if anything gets me excited, it's that quinacridone magenta. Oh, yeah. And this is very close to that. I'm just liking it. You're having a magenta day. I am. But I mean I was I was playing around with it. We were talking about the dip pins this morning. Yes. So I was showing Shell this dip pin that had the uh, nice reservoir in it. And I was playing, I was just grabbing some of my inks, my Bombay, and showing her how it fills up that reservoir and then how you can you know and since we're doing butterflies I thought well this makes really nice butterfly trails <laughs> right uh -huh. so I should get you know some butterfly trails going on here and a few little splatters and oh yeah I'm liking that this one this one on this side. Maybe. But the funny part was this morning I'm looking on my desk and I said, Oh, Shell, 
when when we were doing that last week these were sitting right here by my hand on the desk <laughs> yeah, and you were looking all all over for them trying to find them and there they were there they were the whole time and you didn't even know so i was filling these this morning with some other colors of ink Okay, so um, this is definitely wet. I'm going to have to dry. So that means let's let's take a look at those ones I was drying. See how they're coming. They're starting to dry. Let me put this gel plate thing out of the way because it's gonna get in my way all right maybe i can dry that down Oh, let's see. Yeah, Leslie says, I love how tissue paper melts into the page. Absolutely. Yeah. It really does. Rennie's here. She says she's late. Hello. She missed when I was showing them all the things she sent me. Two envelopes on the same day. <laughs> oh, that, is so that was the napkin de decoupage I used, by the way, guys. I really like this stuff for putting down napkins and tissue. Yeah, it's great. I guess they call it. Page. I'm trying to soak up some of the excess ink because it's really wet and I want to keep moving on this, guys. Now what? That's the question. Need something else. All these butterflies. So many. Well, maybe while that's drying, I just need to make some more tissue paper because I have all this other stuff I pulled out here. Um, and I've got some of my favorite stamps, which I think I need to use. Oh, there's some more butterflies, shell. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, that's I'm another one. In that, that's another one from Penny Black that's like that other one. I love this one. Mm. All right. So that's enough stamps for now. You know, stamp stencils, I'm all about it. So I want, I want some background tissue. Well, that's drying down because I can't really stamp directly on the page right now because it's too wet. So let me just do some background stamping. <coughs> <here. coughs> uh. Yeah, ink can be tricky. Absolutely, Becky. Oh, for Pete's sake. I better keep these extra pliers of napkins in case we run out of toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, they stamp really well. 
I'm just saying. They do, yes. Really well. They also could be toilet paper. They yes, could be. They could be a lot of things. <laughs> If you don't believe me, check out my other channel because I will be putting out some stuff about tissue. Now I should probably put more realistic looking this under there just to give me a little more cush, cush. Need a little cush when you're stamping. Get this guy. If you said you needed some cush in front of my son, he would be like, Where's the marijuana? Uh because apparently that's a kind of marijuana. Oh, is it? Okay, well. Apparently. I didn't All right, you know more than I do. I've been educated by my own child. Yeah. Well, they've got all those different strains. I don't know. Apparently it's a good kind. I don't know. All I know is that they have it in the the... What do they call it? It's not a pharmacy. Dispensary here. And whatever, whatever, I don't know what kind they have because it's whatever is grown here in Iowa. They probably have a lot of different kinds in the dispensary. Because different ones do different things, make you feel different. Well, they don't really. They have their product. You know, they have they have different ways of delivery, but they don't really have yeah. Oh, they don't have different strains. Yeah. The dispensaries here have like all different kinds and yeah well you know we're in Iowa <laughs> we're not in all of those other things like California and yeah you know, it's like oh yeah they're they're still very conservative here so well, I was in Oregon and one of the girls that I was friends with in high school her son yeah. he's you know probably I don't know how old he is. She had him real young, but um, he has a store there called Kind Leaf, and of course, it's legal there. It's yeah, recreational legal there. And I tell you what, I went in there with my friend because she um, uses marijuana for pain. Yeah, and she was going for some specific thing, but they had like all these glass jars, like probably fifty glass jars. And each, all on this wall, like like an apothecary. Yeah. Right? And they were all clear glass jars with those sealed lids. And um, every single one was a different kind. Yeah. You could just see the plants inside there. They were like just, you know, flowers or whatever, flowers of the plant. And they all had weird, wacky names. I wouldn't know the first thing about which one to get. So, yeah. But that particular. Yeah, it's because there's a white paper. The focus goes soft because, number one, they've reduced the quality of the video, which really hurts artists. Yes, they have because of the pandemic. And it has absolutely nothing to do with what we're providing for you because we're shooting at 1080p, you yep. know. And when the focus goes soft, it's not because of anything we're doing. White is hard for cameras anyway. Yep. That's a lot of butterflies. Okay. This is a small page. I'm going to be probably going to be doing more than one page out of this book today. <laughs> Should have made a bigger book. But I'm looking, I'm looking at it here and I've got a perfectly beautiful shot 
I look at it on YouTube and something else. Yeah. So. Sorry, guys. Pandemic season. Yeah. I guess it's because of the volume of um, traffic they're getting. They can't keep up. So they put everyone on standard definition. Like when I upload my videos, it's not it's not right. high def like it was before. It's standard. And I'm like, what are you people doing to me? <laughs> Why you be doing that? As my thing yeah. uploads and I'm like, ah, oh, that's not high definition. That's looking pretty good. wonder if I want to add. Where is... This has a little, what I did on here is I added uh, the paste. This is a little Quinn gold. Yeah, come out, come out wherever you are. There you go. And water to water it down. And I just want a small brush to start with. And get. Because I just want to add. I don't know if I want to mess with that corner yet. Just want to add. A little bit. To bring out that embossed area. And I've got a little bit of this, that's pretty opaque. Let's get this Americana. Whoops. Shake it up first. These are all pretty opaque. <laughs> Get a little butter. And a little bit of chalky finish green. A little more water. Blending that out. spot on my towel. I want some of those gold tones like you know the sunlight in the background. Need a little bit of the green undergrowth and the sunlight. This 
where do we find the butterflies? In the garden, of course. See that greenish tone down here towards the bottom. this harsh line so I'll probably end up putting something in that spot to disguise that harsh line up there but I'm liking where that's heading where is my rag here we go All right, let's go back and look at this. How's it doing? Yeah, a little better. See how much I smear this around now. <laughs> so I'm going to grab my ruler, a ruler. I'm going to tear some of this up. No, no, I did not. I did not do the backgrounds today. Um, if you go back to, when did we do the butterfly journal, Shell? Do you remember? It was about three weeks ago. Yeah, if you look for the butterfly journal, because when we did, <clears throat> when we made these journals, I was making uh, background pages at the same time to go in the journal. So I think that's in that video. But I made I made a number of these because we were using sprays and yeah yeah we were using sprays that day that's how all my background pages were made but if you go to Peg Robinson which is my other channel and look at my other videos from like the last week or so, you're going to find a lot of that stuff in the construction and the, everything that we did. These are too small. Well, my words say, nature gives to every time and every season some beauties of their own. And that's true. In the spring, you got the flowers and summer butterflies. In the fall, you got the pretty leaves. What a nice sentiment. Yeah. I think I'm done with this page. I guess I'm going to do another one, but I got to dry it because. Yep. Yeah. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. So I need to glue some of this stuff down on here. And I think I might just start with some good old Yoohoo. See if this will do it. Don't know. I don't want to get a whole bunch of wet stuff out. Put this down to start with, and then let's see. I've got liquid something here. What have I got? Um, need to find a liquid medium. And that clear gesso that could work. Um, here we go. I got some. Whoops. Got some deco page. 
That'll soak right in. It's a great quote, quote. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Um, so a little more. That case down here. Which way is up? Hmm. <laughs> far. Oh, that's cool. So I'm liking where that's headed. So let's give that a chance to dry a little bit, huh? Really and what else was I working on here? This one. probably do remember I wanted to break up that <laughs> line there so let's let's do that let's break up that line sure that this gets down good. And if a little of the edge rubs away, I don't care. I kind of want that. Because I don't really want that white edge showing. So I'm just kind of rubbing that away. And let's see, I got some more of this text and postal stuff. Let's put a little more. See right away, I don't like this straight edge. I'm going to pull some of that back. Try not to have everything stuck to me. Put that back down. I like that. There we go. Oh, I need some other butterflies for that. That style. 
Okay, so you can tell we're working now because we're not talking to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do this all the time. It's like, you know, it got awful quiet. <laughs> yeah, like last week when we accidentally left the camera on. Yeah, that was so funny. We weren't talking at all. We didn't even pay attention. And then they're like, oh, the camera's still on. Did you know? Did you know the camera's on? No. <laughs> you didn't know that. Didn't know that. Nope. So if you stuck around, we were we were still there. <laughs> yes, this is a Finnebear stamp, but it's uh, sent to me by Rennie. I don't actually oh. own the stamp. But I thought oh, it'd be cool. fun on the first page. Yeah. Thank you, Rennie. Cool stuff. Yeah. Just using what my friends sent me. <laughs> That's the first the thing I did was my own stuff, but now I've got I've got the stuff out that my friends sent me. Because hey, why not? Hey, why not? I need to find some other components out of my stash to go on these. Okay, and I've got this one, which was the third one. I think on this one, let's dry this now. This has to, it's getting to the layers here. These layers are getting to the point where they have to dry again. Yeah, drying. <sighs> Who needs it? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let me get now this. I'm loving this, but I'm thinking I should probably add some color into those areas where I've got the paste. Might do that just with some ink. That's what I'll do. I'll add something to brighten that with ink. Um, let me get some orange and some really wild colors. Some What is this? This is cactus flower. That's a good color. See, see what happens when I add that. Yeah, that's definitely a shell color. <laughs> and it's a good one. Yeah. I want, yeah, I want that orange in there too. So I'll grab another tool. Whoops. This is a bright tangelo. A good color. Cindy Otter won't like it though. At least I think she's the one who hates orange. Uh, 
Um, you know, I think hate's a pretty strong word. She just doesn't prefer to use that one. <laughs> but I've seen her use it. You know? I have. Yeah, I like that orange in there. I do, I do. Ugh, I'm making a mess with my glue stick. Ugh. Messy, messy, messy. So tell us, do what is your favorite color? We've got a hop coming up talking about some different colors. Oh, yeah, that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. tomorrow. So check out um, Shell's and mine uh, regular videos tomorrow because we're going to hop with some other artists and it'll be cool. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. It's a hop. Yeah, and um, just a little heads up, there might be some uh, giveaway stuff in there. Yeah. So... Yep, yep. No. Check it out. I think this is more gold. Okay. Gold. Yeah, I I really like that. Kind of busy, but that's okay. Gold, gold, gold. Where are you? Orange and purple, everything between blue and green, turquoise, blues and greens, purples. Thanks, Barb. That got kind of an assortment here. I mean, that's very vivid, you know, when you're feeling very vivid. This is more of the muted colors. This is what I tend to go towards more. This is more towards uh, shells. Um. And then this is kind of in between, you know? So I've got quite an assortment of pages started here. Let's go back to this one. Let's see how dry it's gotten. It's still a little wet. Any color but beige? Oh, but beige has such a good purpose when you're gel printing. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Very right true. Now? Yes. I wouldn't say it's my favorite color, but it's a, when you're gel printing, there's a definite need for it. So let's look at... That would actually be pretty on there. This is Thursday. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Last time I checked. Did you say so? I don't know what day it is. I can't keep track. Last time I checked, it was. Um, yeah, I guess since it's a, since we're having a live stream, it must be. Although it could be Monday. It's not Monday, is it? Not Monday. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Is that a quarter inch? Yeah, that's a quarter inch round. That's kind of cool. Liking that. 
Uh, I know, right? Thursday okay. already. I had some. I had some more tissue. What do I do with it? No, those don't work. Those would work on that other page, but not on this page. So, actually, those would work on that other page, too. I should pull some of this stuff out. Um, that I might use. Oh, look at that big, beautiful butterfly. Big, beautiful butterfly. Oh, ho, ho, look at that one there. I like that. See, I'm thinking I might do something on here. some of these elements because I've got the postage so wet. going on and I think these colors are working pretty good don't know if I want to use this could actually be a, I could put this in and then make a place to slide something into this page like a little oh, pocket oh, out of that that would be good I don't know. What do you think? You guys like that butterfly on there? Or should I go back to something more like this? I haven't even used... Got a lot of stuff here to use. Big yellow one? Okay. Big yellow one it is. I guess they told you. Yeah. So I probably need some matte gel medium to put that down there. Whoops, there it goes. See if I can try not to turn anything off when I drop stuff on it. <laughs> uh, knife and get some out here. I don't know where this came from, whether it was packaging or, you know, sometimes you get something cool and you just you know, put it in your stash. Oh, that's what I haven't found yet. I have, I have a whole bunch of uh, printed ones that were on a poster, like a 
a big poster that, are, that look a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know where they are. I'll find them eventually. Eventually. I bought them for I bought the poster for a project like um, some type of a wall mounted something probably for my mom yeah and but I had leftovers lots of leftovers because it was like a whole big poster with tons of different species of moths and butterflies on it oh cool Don't know where it is right now. No idea. So this little thingy, my Bobby, I get some of this. Um, is definitely going to have to air dry because that piece is plastic, and I cannot no. put a heat gun on that, or we're going to have a real mess on our hands. So this is going to get set aside for sure. So it's already dry. And as long as I've got this out, I add a little of that magenta. Guys, behaving yourself, watercolors. Hi, Ingrid. How are you today? Yeah, I think that I want no water. No watercolor water. <laughs> this happened to me last week. Or Monday or whatever it was. doesn't want to behave the way I want it to. Surprise, surprise. All right. Maybe it's the maybe it's the medium. Maybe it's because this other stuff isn't dry. I don't know. It's just an hour and a half show and we do what we can do. Yep. <laughs> We do. That's better. 
must have been the medium. So this is working much better. Hello? Yeah, I'm drinking. I don't answer that phone. Good idea. I don't like to answer any of them. I'll answer my cell phone occasionally. <laughs> I don't answer that stupid phone. That's the whatever it is is people asking for money. Basically. Let's see, what color do I want? Is this a nice color? Yes, that's a nice color. Yeah, I think it's time to let that one dry. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep overworking it. Where are we with these other ones? Is that ready to do anything on? I could. Let's see if. I can add a little of the see if I can add a little of that cherry red on here. See if it'll see if it'll move with some water. Oh yeah. Where's that? Get a little bit of this uh, heavy cream from Paper Artsy. Get a little drop of that out. I can add that. Let's do another Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, oh well. As Dina says. Right. Get uh, some of that magenta, cherry red, whatever it is from Bombay. Yes, they will be in a book. Haven't determined how it's going to end up in the book, but it will end up in the book. Some 
Ну, не видно, и нет. All pretty muted. Let's do Twelve eight minutes. What I need is a really fine pen and it has some ink. Did you read Leslie's comment? Oh, yes, she does look like Mother Earth quite a bit. This little friend of our stamp. But there's not enough black. It's too light. Thank you. 
Oops. Oh, well. All right. We've got one, two, three, four. I need one more at least because, you know, I can't just. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> you can't. Uh, uh, can't. Can't have that even number. I have to agree with you. I can't have even numbers either. Oh, for Pete's sake. Don't even know where my scrub brush is. Oh, there's one. That's better. Well, you can see her a little bit better, I guess. It's so light that I can't even see good enough to do anything about it. Being poopy. Stop being poopy. <laughs> oh well. It's a journal page. It's okay. All right. So where are we now? Let's see. Rinse that. Get some of this junk off of here. Get this wet surface off of here. And how are we doing? Are we drying? Oh, of course not. We're still very, very wet. Okay. This one. I think I like the idea of making a pocket on this so I can tuck some butterfly ephemera in there. What did I do? There it is. Corner rounder. Oh, and then I got stuck. I don't know. I don't like this. And I want a dark. Get a dark. Let's go with the forest green. Why not? Just need some. Something. Let me get a little. Pretty 
bring out some of the greens. With that forest. Or I guess it's called library, not forest. <laughs> Yeah, that's always been a weird one. I always like to use a little yellow orange. Orange, you're going to use some orange. So let's get this monarch because, uh, yeah, we got butterflies. We have some monarch in there. Brighten that up a bit. And then let's do it on this little butterfly here, too. Get some color on him. I'll use the dandelion. do something on here too. So let's start with the dandelion. It's time to be done. Is it? Okay, it is. All right, guys. We'll continue with butterflies at another date. <laughs> but um, we got got quite a ways today. We got quite a few things accomplished, I think. Uh, how are you doing, Shall You getting stuff done? Yeah, uh, I got a couple pages. I don't know if this one's done yet. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know that this is a finished deal either, but um, I'm liking where it's headed anyway. Absolutely. And so there's that one, there's that one, and the beginnings of another. So thanks for stopping. Goodbye, guys. We'll see you again. Monday, right? Monday, yeah. Yeah. All right. Go out for the whole month for Monday, Thursday. So. Bye. Bye, bye, everyone. <laughs>